Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to share with you guys another success story from a coach that we're working with. This is a coach that's based out in, in Canada with his <clears throat> soccer uh, slash football training business. So what's what we get coaches to do with the ones that we work with is every at the end of every month, we get them to do an audit of their business. So we've got coach Francisco, sorry, Francesco, who has audited his company and sent us through his, his results. Um, so I'm going to read it out and I'm going to share with you a couple of ways that you can get to these numbers as well so that you can achieve these fantastic results with your business as well. So coach uh, Francesco has... Uh, sent this in so March audit and April goal setting March 2024 gross revenue $13,001 uh, and 98 cents right so essentially 13k uh, he has made in the month of March with his training business uh, discipline level 7 out of 10 uh, positives uh, biggest camps in his business is a uh, history, two private, six semi-privates returned after session packages finished. He added two new private trainees and one new semi-private group of four. Uh, he's also now found a warehouse to run his program out of a uh, full time. And he's now working with a partner to get it up and running uh, by September of this year. So great result. Uh, with Coach Fran Francesco, okay, 13K of revenue in one month, tremendous. Uh, he is someone that is very committed to his business. He's very committed to, to the Accelerator program where, where he's currently in. Um, I have had Francesco on the podcast. So if you go back and check out his, his story, then I'm sure it will inspire you to to get your business uh, hopefully up to up to that level or more. So there's three, thing, three things I look at when you want to get a business to 13K of revenue. Okay, So these are things that Francesco has, has implemented into his business, but these are things that you can implement too if right, you become very organized. Right? And that's, that's essentially the first one. It's organization. A lot of coaches today uh, when they're running their their football soccer training business they aren't organized with the business okay they've got everything all over the place and one of the problems is is that they they themselves aren't probably organized in their personal life so your business i believe is always a reflection of of how or who you are in the real world Okay, so if you're a very unorganized person, then the chances are your business is going to be like that. And when I talk about unorganization, it means you don't know when you're going to be having your sessions with the customers or clients you're working with. Um, you're accepting payments here and there. Um, and also there's no marketing or, or, or selling system in place to actually drive the business to the next level so organization levels all over the place which is why a lot of coaches unfortunately in this industry fail because they haven't got that organization in place this is something you want a personal one-on-one -on -one help with reach out to me this is something i can uh, help you and guide you with right so that's that's the first thing right the second one is committed customers right committed customers committed clients um and this is something we talk about on this channel on a consistent basis it's getting parents more committed to your training a lot of coaches are scared to do it because they're scared of losing their their the the parents or the customers that they're working with but at the same time a lot of coaches are scared to do it because they don't know how to do it and they don't want to change how they're doing, how they're running their business. But again, if you don't change, then ultimately you're going to keep continue to get the same results over and over and over again. 
So something coach Francesco does really well is he gets clients on long-term commitments when they join his program. So by long-term commitment, it could be anywhere between three to 12 months that one customer is staying in your program. Now, when I was running my business, uh, well, when I am running my business, uh, but at the beginning stages, uh, something that really kind of frightened me with the long-term commitments is I always thought to myself, would parents do it? Would parents commit? And I got to, I think it was, I remember I when, when I got in that sales call, I tried to sell parents on three-month commitments. That's how I started. A lot of parents said no. A lot of parents said, no, we can't commit to that, unfortunately. So it took me about six attempts to get to a parent to say, do you know what? Yes, we'll do it. Okay. Now, reason why I, I could have I could have quit, I could have gave up because parents kept saying no, no, no. So I kept thinking to myself, do you know what? This isn't going to work. And this is what most people do when they start a business or they start a project or they start something into the unknown and it and all they're getting is no no no's is they quit very quickly right but i knew that do you know what it was going to work but i needed to just continue to speak to continue to to find potential customers to work with and after six attempts i finally got to one parent that said you know what yes we'll, we we want to we want to commit to to three months and from there i was sold on this this model and up until today, well, today the, the commitment's a lot bigger. So it's a, a six minimum, six month minimum commitment that parents invest into our academy. But it's about selling yourself on it because when I got parents on a three month commitment, I started to see that, you know what, the results that I'm getting with the players that I'm working with, they're much greater than if I was doing one-off sessions. Because we with a three-month commitment, you can have a development process in place where you're working with players week after week and they're progressing with you. What I saw is that these one-off sessions, they just weren't working because I wasn't getting the results with them. And essentially parents just weren't really sticking around because it was kind of, they, they were just seeing it as a one-off thing. But when there was a gradual development, when there was gradual pro, pro progress, then parents, then I could, as a coach, turn around to a parent and say, do you know what? Look at your child. Now he's confident at dribbling. Now he's playing more minutes uh, on his team. Now his shooting or striking has improved. Now look at him. He's a, he's a fantastic defender. So you can see better results when you have uh, customers committed for longer periods of time. So that's the third one, uh, second one, longer term commitments. And then the last one is contracts, right? Having your customers on contracts or terms and conditions or agreements is fundamental. Okay. Now, a lot, a lot of coaches, when I say contracts, they get very scared because they're like, oh yeah, but parents don't want to sign contracts. Fair enough. You can change it to a player and parent agreement if you want, if it, if it makes you a little bit more comfortable. Okay? But you need to have some, something that is written that parents can agree to your terms and conditions. Because if you don't have anything written, then essentially parents show up and they do what they want. One week they'll come, another week they won't come. And if you're selling block bookings or longer term commitments however you're selling right there needs to be some sort of agreement that the parent says Do you know what okay i i agree to show up every single session from here to here i agree to pay you at this date every single month and um, i agree to bring my child on time i agree that i won't coach them while you're coaching them Okay, you've got to have some level of commitment for them and you've got to have some terms and conditions or rules in place for your sessions. I go out and I watch so many, so many sessions, one-to-one -one sessions. I, I watch small group sessions. And the most frustrating bit is when I see parents on the field next to the coach or I see parents 
talking to their their child during the training session. For me, that frustrates me. I had that in my business when I first started, but I eliminated that very quickly. I even told one parent, listen, I can't work with your child with you telling me what to do or telling him what to do. Please take him, go home. I'll refund you the money. And, you know, we can both go our separate ways. Like you're the expert, you're the coach, and you're the leader of your business. So you have to have the conditions in place for parents to know what, what the boundaries are, okay? And also, you, you end up working with better parents, better customers, because they, they agree to your conditions. They know there's rules in place. When there's no rules, people tend to do whatever they want, okay? That's just pretty much how society is. Society needs some structure for it to function. And it's the same way in a business. Your clients need to have structure in order to know what they can or what they can't do. Okay? And that's not to sound um, like a, a, a mean person. It's just a way to put structure. And also it's a way for you to enjoy working with the players that you work with. Because if a parent steps out of line or a or player steps out of line, okay, then you can go back to them and say, listen, you guys signed this. And at the moment, you're not agreeing to these terms and conditions. Okay, So these are the three things that when, when I see coaches that want to get to these, these income levels or revenue levels, they have to have in place for it to work. Okay, So... Thank you for watching. If you want to work with me, uh, I'm currently working with coaches one-on-one. -on -one, so visit the description below this video, number of ways you can connect with me to get my help. And also, uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all my latest content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.